praise God. We thank God for another day. And God bless you and good afternoon to you, Shekinah team, swim team, locally and overseas. And then to Brother Paul and the children. Hi, everyone. Hi. Wonderful, wonderful. It's good to see you. You're looking good and you're looking alert and you're looking like you are ready to sing praises to the Lord. Well, it is good to be with you another week. It testifies of the goodness of God in keeping us day by day. No small thing. He keeps us. To those of you tuning in or who will tune in to this via TV, God bless you and welcome again to our time uh, with the children from Great Hope Children's Home there in Nanyuki, Kenya. We are grateful to be able to fellowship with them and to be blessed, to be blessed by them the same. Again, welcome everyone, Bermuda, UK, and Kenya. It's our father's world, amen? Well, it's good to be with you. And we are going to, at this time, invite our Mother Marlene Sumner, and she will open us up in prayer. Mom Sumner. Bless you, team. Bless you, Kenya. There is no distance in prayer. We are here in Bermuda, and you are in Kenya. So let us look to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, God, for the opportunity whereby we can come, meet, and fellowship with our fellow brethren in Kenya. We ask today, God, that you would bless Brother Paul, God, as he teaches the children. My God, the word says, suffer the little children to come unto me and to forbid them not. My God, and as we minister to them and they minister to us in scripture, in poem, and in song, God, we ask for your anointing to be upon this service today. Have your way. Remember everyone in the home, those that may be in the house that are asleep, mother and father, God, they may be resting, but God, we ask your blessings upon them. The one that will break the word today, anoint afresh. Have your way, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Mother Sumner. Beautiful. Well, I see that we have our mother, a new person whom I have known for at least 55 years. Mm. Our mother, Maxine De Silva. Wow. God bless you, Mother Silva. <laughs> Amen. I, I have such a feeling when other people join the work because it's never about one person. It's about people. And so, Mother De Silva, just God bless you as you've come to spend this time with us as we spend time with the children of Great Hope Children's Home. Again, thank you, Mother Sumner, for the prayer. As a matter of fact, before we go any further, Mother De Silva, why don't you unmute and say a couple of words to everybody? So good to see you all. Oh my God, I can't wait one of these days to come out there and visit them and see them face to face. That's my dream. Be blessed, love you all, praying for you every day. <laughs> Amen. There you go. It worked. Brother Paul, it is now in your hands. So, yeah, thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you for the invitation to take over the meeting. And also, we thank God for this uh, appointed time, this special time, this good time that God has made for us to be glad, to rejoice in it, and also to fulfill the purpose as to why he did create us. So um, let's keep on doing what God has called us to do, diligently with hard work and with determination. Because he said in his holy word that he will reward those who diligently seek him. So 
thanks to all the team that have that have always made it possible to avail themselves no matter circum any circumstance no matter mechanical issues flight problems you've always made it possible to be able to come on board and worship god together with us so thank you very much and thank you each and everyone thank you mother marlene somna and thank you our elder chief elder throat mother Ma mother caroline dallas and reverend eunice lightbone and also to our new mother mother maxine de silva thank you to each and everyone that is able to come in and make this thing possible it's all for the glory and honor of the lord so we thank god also from this other side of kenya god is faithful god is good god is awesome and he is amazing the words to express how good he is, he is to us it cannot be explained it cannot be expressed he is over good to us and we thank god for each and everything we have rain it in fact it just stopped raining so it's raining like the whole day the whole night it has now turned into almost bermuda we are we are coming there yeah <laughs> and very soon we it will be green like bermuda we are hoping for the best so thanks to all for praying for us the church intercessory team for taking this need and praying for it and god has made it possible so we thank god our children are good we are out for holiday and we thank god now they're not going to school we are, some of them are working at the farm some others are working in the other projects and i've also given permission to very few of them to go and say hi to some guardians and then in three four days they'll be coming back so we are hoping that things are going to be good god is indeed good and god is amazing and we thank god for each and everything and also we thank god for our team from shekinah worship center that have, that have always stood with us in all circumstances in all seasons in valleys in mountains we thank god that we can have people that we can rely on spiritually and even physically so thank you all very much feel encouraged to be part of us we love you so much and we pray for you each and every day so thank you very much we will get into today's service so yeah <laughs>
number two. Come, 
All right. Oh, my goodness. Paul, what's that last one? What was the reference for the last one? The last one, uh, uh, John chapter 8, verse 12. They didn't get that very well, but very soon they're going to be <laughs> oh, yeah. good. Excellent. I want to say um, just congratulations. Excellent. Keep at it. You know, the word of God is so rich that I don't know if they understand how wealthy they are compared to me, compared to so many. Well done. We are thanking God for the word through you. Well done, boys and girls. And we're, we're clapping for you. Don't, then I have to clap. We will clap. We're clapping. You did. We are clapping for you. God bless you. Now, let me say that, and, and she's going to come and have something to say in a minute. They can take their seat, Brother Paul. Bow down, bow down. Praise God, praise God. We in Bermuda, you are inspiring us so that we are beginning with Matthew 6, 33. And on this past Friday night, I was blessed to receive footage of the children beginning to quote it a couple of Friday nights. So we have begun, and we are admiring what you are doing. The word of God is rich in your mouth. Thank you. Brother Paul, thank you for your due diligence in teaching. And children, thank you for receiving the teaching. That's, that's a big thing. And so we bless God for you. Before we go any further, um, because I, I want to catch her while we can, Aunt Tyra is going to have a couple of things to say. Deaconess Tyra. Thank you, Pastor. Good afternoon, Kenya team. Good afternoon, boys and girls. How are you today? Oh. Hi. Okay. So, Mama, I tell you guys about the word game that I play, right? It's scrambled ladders and, you know, you have to put the ladders together to make words. So sometimes I come across a difficult, it's a difficult wording and I can't figure it out. So sometimes I have to shift the lattice a few times and I have to clear what was what I previously thought and shift my mind to something new. And I want to encourage you that sometimes when you're in situations, you have to shift your mind to something new. You have to allow God to clear the clutter and chaos that is around you or to clear your mind to what you think yourself. Sometimes you have to get out of you. God wants you to get out of you so you can see what he has for you. So just sometimes shift. Just all you got to do is shift your mind and allow God to give you a clearer and a brighter vision for your life. Enjoy your lesson, boys and girls. And if you don't see me, I'm going to get my class. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Thank you, Deaconess, for a short but powerful, powerful uh, analogy of reality. And I can tell you, all week I'm shifting. Trust you me, all week, all week. <laughs> I'm receiving information Say, switch it around, Seaman, switch it around. Amen. So that we can see it from God's perspective that a challenge is really an opportunity to show how God can use you in a greater way. Thank you again, Deaconess. We appreciate that. Well, we've come down to the official, official lesson for today, and we are glad to have our RIT, Sister Laquita. And Sister Laquita, we are passing the Zoom mic to you for the lesson. God bless you. Amen. Greetings, Pastor Seaman. God bless you and greetings to the rest of the Kenya Traveling Ministry, as I put it. <laughs> Amen. Good to see you all. Blessings to you, 
Brother Paul, and blessings to all the beautiful children. Blessings to you. Okay, I'm going to go right into my lesson, but I'm going to very quickly just change my background so that you can see what I'm holding up, okay? What is it? What is it? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. You got it. You're right on. It is a book. Yes, it is a book. You've done excellent with that one. It is a book. Now, if you open up a book, let's open up this book. This book's got words all through it. Words are all through this book. Yes? And we want to talk about words. And it's so funny that um, Sister Tyra came on talking about <laughs> words. Got to appreciate God's alignment sometimes, don't you? So we want to talk about words and the importance of words because words hold tremendous power because they shape our thought patterns after we have absorbed the content, which ultimately can affect our behaviors. So it is important what we read, which is why time spent in reading the holy word is important. Time spent here reading and absorbing is important. And my God, I have to say, I have to say, there is so much evidence of you doing this, spending time in the word, watching you each week grow from strength to strength as you show the manifestation of your time spent in the word as you quote the word. So uh, it's important and it's critical to our growth in our holy growth as children of God to spend time in the word of God. All the words in the Bible are what? They are inspired by God. And it is useful for teaching and for showing us what is right and what is wrong in our lives and in our walk. It is useful for correcting our faults and our weaknesses and for teaching us how to live right so that we serve God and so that we are ready and equipped with everything that we need to do God's kingdom work, yes, and to represent the holy kingdom righteously. And um, we all know the song, all of us, we all know where I'm going here. If you read your Bible, pray every day, then you'll grow, grow grow. Yes, because reading the Bible, reading the word of God empowers us to resist the devil. God's word says that if we resist the devil, he will flee. Psalms 119 of verse 11 tells us, what does it say? Thy word have I hit right here in my heart that I might not sin against thee. So you see, the more time you spend reading and studying the holy word, you are sealing that holy word into your heart. So it is important to meditate on it so you can be strong, empowered, and successful in your struggles in life. So in closing, I encourage you to feel so empowered by God's word and take a strong stand and stand on Joshua 1 and 8. Hallelujah. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you will meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then you shall make your way prosperous. Hallelujah. And please your father. And then you shall have good success. May God richly bless you. You bless me. And I pray that this lesson has been a blessing to you. God bless you. Amen. And they're clapping in agreement. And so am I. Oh, my goodness. Thankful for the word of God. And I love Joshua 1 and 8. 
the promises of God that if we put him first, then generations follow and they likewise are blessed because we meditate on the word of God. Anyway, I'm not giving the commentary, so let me pinch hit right now. Calling our outer chief trot, come on with the commentary. Good afternoon, Pastor Seaman. Good afternoon, team. Brother Paul and young people, so good to be here today. Thank you ever so much, RIT Laquita, for the word of God. It's the Bible that will always, always get us to stand if we read it. And when we read the word of God, it's like eating whatever your favorite food is. You know, it's your eating. So, you know, you may eat and accidents happen and things of that nature, but as you read the word of God, inwardly digested, it goes down and it does your body good. You know, they say, a cliche like an apple a day keeps the doctor away. The word of God keeps sin away. You read it every day. The word of God brings healing. The word of God brings joy. The word of God brings life. And there is a little song that we used to sing as young people. It said, the B-I-B-L-E, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. So all of the books that you have for school that you have to read, they're good because you have to get your education. But in order to make it through life, you need to have the B-I-B-L-E. God bless you. Amen, 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 the B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, that's the Bible, folks. I tell you, I dare say if more of our children in Bermuda were learning that song, that's another staple song. These songs were like, wow, and you know where we learned them? Youth Night, but anyway, that's another platform Another topic time. Amen. Thank you, Chief, for certainly reminding us of the importance of the B-I-B-L-E, the Bible, the Holy Word of God. Well, Brother Paul, before we wind down with the final prayer, do you want to add anything to this lesson? So thank you very much, our, our IT sister Laquita, for that amazing Word of God and a very good lesson and a word of encouragement to each and every one of us about the word of God. Maybe I could just add a bit of something about on top of what you've been taught today, just to put more weight on the word of God. The word of God to us as Christians is like, uh, what can we say? It's like breath. We cannot live without the word of God. We breathe the word of God and for each and everything to function in our Christian body when it comes about growth, faith and everything in our Christian body, we need to have the word of God. The Bible says that uh, faith comes by hearing the word of God. So for us to have faith, we need to have the word of God and without faith, it's impossible to please God. So about the, when it comes to the word of God, the word of God is life to us as Christians. And so we thank God for that amazing word of God. We keep on relying on the word of God for each and everything in our life. So uh, thank you very much for that good lesson. May God bless you and may God bless his holy word. So thank you also for joining us into our today's lesson. And also... Uh, our teacher went away, but also thank you for her. She was Auntie Tyra. Thank you for also joining today's. And also, we'll also love to pass my, my appreciation to the children from Bermuda. You've also inspired us. This should go to the children of Bermuda, the service that they put to the church and the effort that they put into the church 
A very good example is the small Dion Scott that plays the drum in church. Right now, our boys, Robert, among the youngest ones, have started playing the keyboard, and it's going on very well. We are hoping that we can have the small ones also do the kingdom work, because we really need to secure our tomorrow for the glory and honor of the Lord. So it's not only us inspiring you, we are also learning and being inspired by you, each and every one. And we love you all so much, and God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Brother Paul. And um, I will be sharing on Sunday when I'm at the pulpit how we have inspired you as far as uh, the young, your young keyboardist, because you saw our young drummer. Um, if we would only recognize how many people are watching and may be inspired, that would, I believe, help some of our people to keep their shoulder to the wheel. In other words, we can't give up because somebody's watching us. And so congratulations on that. And once you told me, I think it was Monday, that that's what you were going to do, I immediately sent you that footage. I didn't, I stopped what I was doing because it's kingdom. And I want to give a shout out to brother Calvin. As a matter of fact, have, have Calvin come to the camera so I can speak to him directly. Come here, Calvin, come here. Amen. And the young, there you go. I think it's, is that Robert is his name? I think. Hi, Calvin. Calvin, I just want you to know that. I am so proud of you. And hi, Robert, you keep up the good practicing. Practice makes perfect. And I am so excited about this because this is actually what I teach my people. Train down. Bless somebody because you're blessed. And knowing that you've come from being a Maasai warrior, shepherd, to coming in and now you're training somebody else. You're training somebody else in kingdom service. That is the greatest thing that you can do. And so I applaud you. I thank God for you. Keep up the good God work because God is making note of your heart. And you are rewarded for that. God bless you both. And I will continue to stay tuned as you work on those keys, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Calvin. Thank you, Robert. Amen. This is what it's about. And this is my heart. If anyone knows, it's about getting God's message, getting his kingdom. And so my heart is just so heavenly touched by a team. We are doing a good God work. And to God be the glory. Hallelujah. It's what my mama taught me. At your age, at Robert's age, I was visiting rest homes with the ambassadors for Christ. You all don't know about that. Oh, yeah. I was visiting old folks' homes, is what we used to call them, and watching my mom. And at that time, it might have been pastor. She was pastor too, so, and a lot of people that are not here in the island. But I learned as a child how to honor older people. That's why I've got super seniors. That's why I love my super seniors, because I was taught it as a child. So these lessons continue. I serve today because. I watched others like Pastor Tuzo and my mom serve, Pastor Joe. We serve. So it's a great thing. And to God be the glory. And again, thank you, team, for coming and serving with me so that we could serve together because I'm no greater than anyone. I'm blessed to serve. Thank you. Wow. I'm just blessed. Like, whoa. You just don't know what God's going to do next. Amen. Well, let me wind it down because I do need to go and 
do some cooking. I've got mom here with me. I'm going to cook and make sure I'm ready for tonight teaching. So with that in mind, we're going to open up the mic to my deaconess, Carolyn Dallas, and she's going to close out in prayer. Good afternoon, team. Good afternoon, boys and girls. Brother Paul, I tell you, I just had to tell you that I surely enjoyed your service on Sunday. You really blessed my heart. Thank you. Now let us look to the Lord in prayer. Father God in heaven, we approach your throne room of glory this afternoon. Father God, we come with grateful hearts. Thank you for your tender mercies and your marvelous grace. Thank you for your goodness and your kindness to us. We thank you, Father God, how you have blessed us down through the week and brought us to another Wednesday. We thank you and we, pray, and we pray your blessings upon each and every one that is here. Bless these children, oh Father God, continue to be a God over their mind. Let them take in everything that is good and let them not be easily influenced. Father God, as they lay their bodies down to rest tonight, we ask, oh Father God, that you give them a peaceful, restful night's sleep and that they wake up in the morning with their minds and their hearts stayed on you. Bless our brother Paul, bless Calvin and us, oh Father God, as we continue to do your kingdom work, that we do not grow weary in well-doing. We thank you, we praise you, we bless you as we go from this place, but not your presence, that your Holy Spirit will go before us. Make every crooked path straight. We come to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, Deaconess Dallas. And again, good to be with you. And Paul, you might want to unmute as we now begin to say, Goodbye to you folks for now. Amen. Should Jesus tarry? Should God throw back the return of his son? God willing, we will find ourselves with you again on next week's Wednesday team. And again, welcome to Mother De Silva. God bless you. And let's continue the fight, the good fight of faith and all that Amen. we do. Amen. Amen. All right. Oh, those of you, wait a minute, wait a minute. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just the little things. <laughs> Wonderful. Good stuff. To those that tuned in over the uh, internet, Facebook, God bless you. Thank you. And as always, we say, well, you see what we're doing here at Shekinah. If you ever want to be a part of it, you are welcome. God bless you again. All right. Bye, everyone. Thank you, team. Bye. Be good. Have a blessed night. Bye, everybody. God bless you. Bye. I see you. All right. Hey, fella. Hello, everyone. And to the teens, God bless you, teenagers. I, I see you, teens. Keep up the good work now. And thank you for helping out everyone and young Calvin. Thank you for helping out young Calvin. Thanks, Calvin.